Hello, welcome. In a previous Iron Plays video, I showed you clear indication that Steel Raven 7, aka Johan Hessel, is adding anti air cannons to Ravenfield. I showed you a first person in game airplane flight video. I showed you some examples of anti air guns in real life. And I showed you examples of anti aircraft weapons in other video games. Today I show you the Ravenfield anti-air cannon in use inside Ravenfield as a gameplay video. Amazing! So what do we know about this weapon? As things stand now, it is a stationary emplacement. It reminds strongly of the Swedish Bofors 40mm gun design, at least when it comes to barrel and sights. And it is a double mounted variant that can be found on many naval variants of the Bofors 40mm. However, the barrel in the Ravenfield video looks much too thick to be sure that it is in fact the 40mm. I want to hear from you in the comments what you think of this design. And if you have any idea which real life weapon comes closest to the current design, please share that information with us in the comments section. By the way, it seems like there might be a subtle release date confirmation of the Ravenfield Steam Early Access, also known as Beta 6. Let me show you what it is. If you start Ravenfield and at the end of the intro keep the news window open, try scrolling down to the bottom. The word April is written in the bottommost line there. This might be a hidden announcement of the release date, or at least month, without making it too official in case something unforeseen happens to delay it, of course. I speculated that April might be the release month in a previous video. I still think that early to mid April might be a good guess. It makes sense to me at least economically. All I can say for now is snart. But the anti-air emplacement is of course still the main topic of this video. So let us take another look, shall we? So it looks like this particular emplacement is on the Dust Bowl map. Not sure about its location though. My first assumption would be that it is near one of the two airfields. In general, we don't know much about fixed emplacements in Ravenfield yet. One main question, for example, is whether they are invincible or not. Looking at its massive build, I would suspect that it is invincible and doesn't need to respawn itself. This would be hard to balance in a multiplayer game, but will be no problem in a single player game like Ravenfield. I sure look forward to shooting down some pesky planes. Thank you for watching. Check out the videos I mentioned earlier, that would be videos about the airfields, about the release date and the first anti-air video. And I hope to see you with my next bit of Ravenfield news. Ciao!